What's going on everybody? This is Trainer Jack here covering another one of my favorite topics today and it's 20 reasons you're being a jerk in the gym or 20 ways that you can identify that jerk in the gym. You all know what I'm talking about, those people who are hogging the machines, talking on their cell phones incessantly and all these other terrible, embarrassing and annoying things that are probably stopping you from completing a great workout. Number one, talking on your cell phone. When I see somebody talking on their cell phone while holding up a piece of machinery, a bench, their dumbbells, drives me absolutely insane. I watched a guy a couple weeks ago talk on his cell phone for, no joke, 15 to 20 minutes. I was finishing up my workout for that long and the entire time he was talking to his girlfriend on the phone. Bro, just take it outside. Number two, wearing flip-flops or socks and sandals in the gym is completely appropriate and not uh, completely inappropriate and not only that, but it's dangerous. Dude, are you really gonna drop like, a, you know, a dumbbell, a plate, a barbell? on your foot and crack something or break something, not safe. Lose the socks, lose the sandals. Number three, hogging machines and dumbbells and not doing any work. I can't tell you how many times that I see somebody take a three, four, five, ten minute rest on something before they even do another set. I don't know what they're waiting for. Maybe their muscles need that much recovery time, but honestly, I doubt it. Number four, having your headphones or earbuds on so loud that you can't hear the person next to you ask if they wanna work in with you or say, excuse me. I think this is by far one of the rudest things that you can do in a gym. Personally, I don't listen to music while I'm lifting. If you do, that's perfectly fine. I just think you should keep it at a volume so somebody doesn't have to go, hey, hey, can I work in with you? Terrible. Which is number five, getting technique advice from someone when you haven't asked for it. When I see these guys in the gym giving unsolicited advice, cracks me up every time. Most of them aren't trainers and most of them are giving poor advice. There's been one time that I personally have ever been in the gym where I was watching a guy do squats incorrectly. Uh, he was about 80 or 90 pounds overweight and I was worried about him hurting his knees. So I went over and talked to him and his friend for a while and then gave him some advice. And he didn't ask for it, but he was grateful afterward because I was trying to be as articulate as possible. Otherwise, don't go up to somebody and just give them advice. Dudes, especially if you're trying to hit on a girl, don't do that. They're there to work out, you're there to work out. Back off. Number six, unnecessary screaming, grunting, and yelling. Now this one drives me crazy more than anything. I was in a three floor gym the other day and from the bottom floor, you could hear a guy on the third floor grunting on the squat rack. Necessary? Number seven, not wiping down your equipment. Seriously, people, let's be clean. Have some good hygiene. Wipe your freaking sweat off a bench or a dumbbell when you're done with it. Just clean it up. Number eight, lifting heavier and sacrificing form. All you have to do is drop weight. Don't be doing cheat curls and flinging your entire body into it. You're not doing your biceps any favors by slinging around 60 pound dumbbells when you should be doing 35s or 40s. Focus on technique, stop acting like an idiot. Take care of yourself. Nine, another one that's ridiculous, stockpiling dumbbells in the gym. Now we've all seen that guy or girl who takes three different sets of dumbbells of all different weights and sizes, stacks them around the bench, and then decides to do flutter kicks while they're sitting on them completely unweighted or unresisted. What the heck are the dumbbells for? 10, and I feel like this one should really be number one. Gentlemen, this is for you out there. Guys, stop creeping on girls on the weight floor and on cardio machines. They're there to work out. They're not there to get hit on or get asked on a date, especially the ones that are doing circuits. Let them be, let them do their thing, keep your eyes to yourself. If you need to keep your eyes on yourself and watch yourself flex in the mirror just so it'll keep you from creeping on them, do it. That's even in the top 20, but I'm encouraging you to do it if it prevents you from being a freaking lurker. Number 11, talking about girls in the gym that you are creeping on to your buddies. Guys, first of all, don't do number 10 and creep on in the first place. Second of all, if for some reason that you did on accident, don't look over at your buddy and talk about her. It's just ridiculous. It's completely inappropriate. 12, getting dressed up or made up to go to the gym. I don't feel like this one needs a lot of explanation, but anytime I see somebody wearing really, really nice clothes, or somebody who's clearly fixed up their hair or put their makeup on to go to the gym, don't do it. You're there to sweat. You're there to work hard. You're just gonna mess it up anyways. And if you're trying to keep it intact through your workout, 
then you're probably not really there to work out in the first place. Number 13, talking so loudly that everybody in the gym can hear your conversation. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard the most disgusting, disturbing, and terrible things in my life in a gym from a guy who was talking so loud that he would probably have shattered windows in the library. All of them would have gone deaf. Guys, keep the volume levels down. People are trying to work out here. 14, and this one actually cracks me up, but I think can eventually get obnoxious. People who have giant headphones on or really, really loud blaring earbuds who are singing along to the song that they're listening to to get them pumped up. Now, like I said, this starts out as funny and eventually gets as, oh my gosh, you can't even hear what key you're singing in. You don't know the notes you're singing right now. Just stop. 15. And this one I feel like many people, especially in the bodybuilder or heavy lifting community, would disagree on, is that if you lift heavier weights than someone, you have dibs in the gym. So you get first dibs on dumbbells, machines, weights, whatever you're looking for. My perspective has always been, if somebody's in there and they're working hard, especially if they look like they've just started an exercise program recently or look like they're trying to or need to lose a considerable amount of weight, let them have the right of way. Be encouraging. Ask them, for, ask them if they want a spot. Do anything that you can to help them out. 16, self-admiration. Please, please, please resist from looking at yourself in the mirror and flexing in between sets, especially if it's taking a ridiculous amount of time. If you find yourself staring at yourself and flexing more than you're actually lifting, I think you found a problem. <laughs> 17, another one that cracks me up. Guys who wear swim trunks to their workouts. As, and, and this one only applies if there's no pool there. Guys, I completely understand if you want to go in, you want to work out really quick, and you don't want to have to take the time in the locker room to go jump in the pool. A lot of working out psychological. Sometimes you'll think about the time that it takes to go into the locker room to change, even though it's a few minutes at max. You'll be like, okay, well, I'm not going to go swim my laps today. But if there's no pool at your gym and you're wearing swim trunks, come on, man. Throw on some shorts. 18. Being disrespectful to the employees or people that work in the gym. People, they're taking care of you. They've given you this wonderful place to come and work out. They've given you your therapy time, your strength time, your cardiovascular time, classes, whatever they're offering. Be nice to them. Don't not acknowledge them. Make sure that you thank them for what they're doing and even take a little time to talk to them just to get to know them. It'll make their day and it'll make you feel better about yourself that you took the time to go out of your way for somebody else. To say thank you for providing this great facility for me. Number 19, unnecessarily slamming or dropping weights. Guys, this isn't a caveman contest. Don't be ridiculous with your weights. Instead, be a little safer. Bring your weight down. If you're doing, you know, 60 pound dumbbells, lower your weight a little bit so you don't have to slam to the ground. Show a little control and respect for the people around you. Number 20, having BO. I'm really sad that I even have to bring this one up, but if I can smell you before I see you, there's a problem. And I've smelled some rank Jim BO. It's not that hard to just take a deodorant stick with you wherever you go. Yeah, sure, it's a little more difficult in the summer months because you worry about it melting, but I'd rather worry about a melted deodorant stick than smelling up a freaking gym that I'm working out at. Yikes. Anyways, I'm Trainer Jack, and that is your top 20 ways you can find out if you are a jerk in the gym or how to spot a jerk in the gym. I'm sure some of these are very near and dear to your guys' hearts and drive you crazy. If you like this video, share it with your buddies. There's a lot of pain out there. We need to let people know who are doing these things what they're doing and that they need to stop it. And also let your friends know to keep on the lookout for it because it'll show you what kind of gym you're going to get yourself into. Have a great one. Talk to you soon.